The treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension has advanced dramatically over the past decade. PAH is a progressive disease associated with a number of pathological structural changes in the pulmonary arteries and arterioles. It appears the disease is driven primarily by an endothelial dysfunction and an initial increase in the constriction of these vessels. Fibrosis, causing vascular stiffness, occurs due to an increase in extracellular matrix production. Pulmonary vascular proliferation and remodeling determine an increase in pulmonary vascular resistance, or PVR, and arterial pressure. Both ETA and ETB receptors mediate the damaging effects of endothelin. To minimize the detrimental effects of endothelin in PAH, the blockade of both receptors appears to be optimal. In this way, the detrimental effects of endothelin in pulmonary arterial hypertension are mitigated. Endothelin receptors mediate the detrimental action of endothelin-1 in the pathogenesis of pulmonary arterial hypertension. It occupies a small part of the endothelin binding site thereby preventing binding of endothelin-1 and thus opposing its deleterious effects. Overall, this tight fit leads to increased antagonistic potency and sustained receptor occupancy, which may result in more effective endothelin receptor antagonism.